I begged my ex-husband to take me back, but he said he couldn't because I broke him. I don't know if this is the right place to put this on yet the title of. The group fits the situation. I plaque myself and I am posting because my therapist suggested that I should just let it all out and oddly enough Reddit seemed like a place to do it. So here it goes. I 42F cheated on my husband 42M three years ago. It destroyed my family and I regret it every day my husband and I got together when we were 19 we were nowhere near each other's first and for 22 years I thought we were happy sure he has his moments when his temper gets the best of him but he's the kind of guy that wear his heart on his sleeve and takes a lot of SHT and when he blows up he will grieve everything that has been bothering him and I understand I do the same thing and tend to say some heartless things towards him out of anger and he never held it against me our SX life was great of course he would love to have more he would try every day but as a stay at home mom of five three girls and two boys I get tired and he voices opinions when we don't have SX and I found it to be annoying. Thinking back we could have have SX more often yet he does help around the house he works 60 hours a week and makes sure I sleep in on weekends and I wake up to a nice clean house and breakfast as the years went by and the three eldest began to head off to college I was feeling that emptiness syndrome, I was bored going a bit stir crazy, I still had my two boys but they were in junior high and didn't need me really my husband saw this and encouraged me to get a job in hindsight I should have told. Him no should have gotten a hobby should have done a lot of things differently my husband is a bit stocky slight overweight but handsome as for me I seesaw between 150 to 210 depending on the year when I started working again as a Customer service rep, I was 160 and I felt great. I haven't been in the workforce in 21 years and it felt good to be back working as the months went by. I began hanging out with the younger 25-year-old co-workers from the office that was encouraged by my husband because I lacked female companionship I used to shove him to go hang out with his co-workers so it was only fair that I did the same and those girls put ideas in my head. They made me think that I could do better, made me think that my husband wasn't sexy enough, made me Think that I was held back, even one of my male co-workers stated that my husband is a beta pretending to be an alpha and I ate it up at the time I thought my husband was all bark and no bite yes I used to see him argue with people who would run their mouth had no problem stepping up to them but I never saw him got into a fight I don't know where that came from I loved him I honored him in return he honored me all of our friends always told me how lucky I was to have him and I did felt lucky yet. Somehow they all got in my head and I guessed my love for him this little nudge kept going every time my co-corkers and I talk and eventually I began flirting with the same male co-worker who called my husband a beta he was the same age as me and he was handsome physically fit and as the weeks went by one thing led to another he made the first move and I just went with it we were having sx every chance we got I felt younger desired and I treated my husband like sht I denied him. SXX poke fun at his weight even tried to make him think that he was crazy when he questioned our relationship I had no clue where that came from thinking back I don't know why I was acting like that I don't know who that person was I realized how bad it was when my husband crushed a glass cup with his bare hands staring at me with hateful eyes during dinner you have a hickey he spat while he wrapped up his palm and left to urgent care my sons looked at me in shock the eldest of the boy's eyes turned beet red before he Ran off I called my lover and yelled at him and had told me that he wanted to mark his territory and I felt disgusted it was the first time I felt remorseful about what I'd done it was after midnight when he came home and looked at me dead in the eyes and asked how long I wanted to deny it wanted to tell him no but I saw it on his face so I told him four months did USC is DCK I said nothing he walked around me only to stop short by my ear and said low enough for me to here I want to divorce you f***ing SLT, I was so angry that he called me that he never talked to me like that before. And all I could do was cry especially when I noticed our boy staring at me at the foot of the stairs they looked at me with such rage and I was angry at him for doing that out in the open I should have been angry with myself should have been disgusted at myself but I had these blinder on and my husband instantly checked out it was like a light switch and just like that his love for me was gone my female co-workers rallied behind me convincing me that I was making the right choice and I could spend more time with my lover and I bought into it I didn't want the separation period my husband moved out of the house and into an apartment a half mile away my sons were treating me like shot and my daughters refused to speak to me my lover began coming over to the house despite my protesting but he just came over this infuriated my children and he refused to leave the first time my specs came over to pick up the boys my lover was more physically fit than my specs but he just smiled at my Lover not yet was what he told him with a smile not yet but soon when they left I was so angry at my lover I told him that what he did was uncalled for and he just ignored me only to yell at me when he had enough and it scared me my lover soon began to 
tell me what to eat what to wear making these hurtful comments when no one was listening and I let it happen when the divorce gotten finalized we negotiated 50 50 straight down with a payment plan to buy his half of the house we had shared custody but the boys wanted to live with him I haven't seen my eldest daughters in a long long time they don't return my phone calls I only found out one of them was in a serious relationship when he mentioned it it was surreal when it happened watching him sign the papers caused so much pain in my chest when he took his ring off and placed it on the paper I felt the ball in my throat and when he left I realized I never apologized to him I grabbed the pen and just stared at the ring at that moment I realized how much I eat up I destroyed my marriage my relationship with my children and I think I was in an abusive relationship and I just cried I couldn't breathe I was too incoherent but eventually I signed it a week after my divorce was when my lover hit me for the first time I was telling him about my day and I bumped into the nightstand and knocked over his phone he gave me this look slapped me and called me clumsy I called my ex and the first thing he asked was does he touch my Children I told him no and he just hung up I cried so hard that night soon my lover got comfortable using his hands it went on for two months and at the time I felt like I deserved it my ex never laid a hand on me my lover did and to me it was karma. It only stopped when he hit one of my daughters who was home from college due to co she was the only one who wanted to stay at the house the two older ones stood at their dad one phone call from her and my ex walked into the house offered my lover a Free hit before beating him into a bloody pulp my ex was stone faced the entire time no emotions I had to beg to stop him he looked at our daughter's bruised face and asked her what hand did he use to hit her and he broke his right hand by stomping on it when it was over my ex took him and dragged him outside not when he looked at me not once acknowledged me he took him to the hospital and told the ER that my lover fell down a flight of stairs my husband stood by my lover's side I do not know what they spoke about but the following day my lover quit the job and left me I kept working and my ex began screwing some of my single friends even a couple of my co-workers one of them was the girl who convinced me to cheat I only found out after. The fact when my co-worker was stressing over him bragging to the other girls how he blew her back out constantly asking me about him and why he won't return her phone calls it hurt me to know that he was doing that I think he was doing that on purpose I dated a few guys but it never lasts I'm a single mother of five children that seemed to push men away then there was the SX looking back even with my lover none of them could satisfy me the way my ex could which made me wonder why did I allow this to happen I was happy how did I let myself get manipulated I don't understand why during this time my house was always quiet my boys were either locked into their room or at their dad's my daughters with the exception of my third born refused to talk to me and it was hurting my ex saw this and he conducted a family meeting he had all the kids in the house and I was happy to have all of our children under the roof but the majority didn't want to be there he began telling the kids to talk to. Me and my youngest called me a WH re this shocked me it hurt me so much and my ex slapped him right in front of me have I ever called your mother that he barked and our son shook his head your mother takes care of you she loves you and you will respect her what? Happened between us has nothing to do with you all of you will start respecting your mother do I make myself clear he looked at all of our children and it spoke volumes and my relationship with my children began to improve during during. The second year anniversary of our divorce we were civil we laughed talked he constantly came over to the house to fix things to talk about the kids and for a while I had my husband back and I leaned in but he shoved me and said no before walking away a month later he. Began dating our youngest teacher, she's 10 years younger than him and they have a lot of common interests, she's extremely attractive and I tried to be civil while they were dating but it hurt seeing him looking at her the way he looked at me how he touched her made her laugh, she was the center of his attention and I understood why people envied us why they kept telling me how lucky I was that devotion why I never noticed it I had my nervous breakdown when I heard that they were expecting in. They were getting married I woke up with him by my side wiping the stray strands from my face and I just cried begging him for forgiveness for destroying our family and he said nothing he just let me talk while holding me he visited me every day only leaving my side to talk to his fiance and she even came over to check up on me I don't deserve their sympathy her kindness she even found me a therapist that they paid for my therapist was blunt to say the least she she said I was having. A midlife crisis and instead of talking to my husband I allowed these young women to manipulate me she explained that they wanted to sabotage my marriage because they were single most likely will never marry and saw me as easy prey. Misery loves company and the fact that the main instigator screwed my ex-husband only proved it after a few months of sessions she saw how I am still struggling with it and she suggested to post on reddit create a throwaway account and let the pain flow it is. 
therapeutic and a unique alternative to group therapy. My ex new wife is a lovely person. She comes over a lot to check up on me. She talks to me, makes sure I'm okay. And as much as I want to hate her, I can't. She's too nice and they're twin. Boys are beautiful. My ex also comes around to make sure I'm okay. If I'm eating, telling me that despite what happened, I will always be the mother of his children and he will always be there for me as a friend. He even came over last Saturday and let me sleep while he cleaned up the house and had breakfast waiting for me that made me break down and cry. I miss him so much. I miss my husband. I miss my best friend till this day. I don't understand how I was so easily manipulated. I'm so alone. My kids are here but we're not as close as we used to be but they're here yet the one person I want the most is not he moved on and I'm the reason why someday I will move on with my life but for right now I deserve this I deserve everything at it I spoke to someone in the messages and I wanted to set the matter straight I wanted to talk about what my ex went through but I felt like it wasn't my place to talk about his pain I tried to make amends countless times but he wanted nothing to with me it didn't help that my AP didn't want to leave me alone no matter what I did he just wouldn't leave me alone I felt trapped during the affair I was in this weird haze it's hard to explain it was like an out of body experience that day was supposed to be the last time and he left a mark on me I remembered when I begged my ex to give me another chance it was days after he found out he just looked at me and walked away only three times he spoke to me when he tried to be civil when signing the divorce papers when I Called him when my partner hit me and the day after he nearly killed my AP on that day he unloaded everything on me as I mentioned before he has a habit of letting everything fester before he explodes he yelled at me about my stupid choices about destroying him how he doesn't have the luxury to mourn our marriage because he needs to be strong for the kids and I just cried because I broke this man this strong man who would have tried to find a way to freeze hell if I asked him I apologized but he didn't want to hear my apology he told me that my AP will never bother me again and left it took a year before we became conversational before that he wanted nothing to do with me when he started fooling around with some of the women I knew I just let him be I I knew why he was doing it and I felt it was well deserved it was after that family meeting when he began acting civil for the kids sake and during that time I truly realized what I destroyed after the family meeting little. By little my kids began to talk to me again my youngest took the longest but I tried oh god did I try to make amends with the kids I needed to fix what I broke with them they were my top priority as the kids saw my efforts they slowly opened up but not as much during that second year seeing my kids laughing in the house while my ex-husband joked around or helping around with chores cooking on the grill and dancing with the girls I thought that if I made the effort showing him how much I was sorry that I could win. Him back I did everything that I could ask for couple counseling to start over wearing every outfit he bought me his favorite perfume had my hair just how he liked it but he just ignored me that's why I tried to kiss him. That day I thought there was a moment but he stopped me I cried I pleaded and he just looked at me he told me that he couldn't be with me because I broke him he will never kiss me because I had another man in my mouth he will never hold me because I had another. Man touch me he will never sleep with me because I allowed another man to sleep beside me I pointed out the women he had been with after our divorce and he made it clear that it happened after our divorce what I did was during our marriage your body and heart belongs to me just like my body and heart belongs to you and you destroyed that I'm trying to just be his friend but it's hard I've been married to this man for over 20 years and I ruined it in 6 months for what a midlife crisis for. My desperate need for female friends and urge to want to fit in I look back and I do not know who that person was everything was out of character for me my third born understood. And if it wasn't for her being there for me I would have ended my life she kept me sane kept me safe I had no idea she was home that day usually the abuse happens when the kids are gone or while we're driving to and from work I always dread it when they leave yet I allowed him to do that to me because I felt like I deserved it that night I stood up for myself I told him to leave and he didn't like that not one bit when he hit me and pinned me against the wall my daughter appeared out of nowhere and jumped on his back when he hit me again he flipped her over and back slapped her I hit him and ran into the garage with my little girl he was banging on the door and she called her father he practically broke through the garage door when my ex arrived and I had to Stop him otherwise my ex would have killed him his new wife is a god sent for him she allowed him to love again allowed him to be himself again I didn't want to be a part of his new life but she insisted she was also in an abusive relationship before meeting my husband she wanted no animosities and trust me she made it clear that she has claws and is not afraid to use them if I overstep my children adore her she was the English teacher to the majority of them after all I just have. These moments of overwhelming guilt that is crippling yes I still work for that company and I eventually became a manager and fired those women I knew all of their dirty secrets so getting rid of them wasn't an issue I just miss what I had. 
That's all now on to the next story story 2 I ghosted my family and fiance after what my sister did I need a little advice on the matter as I don't know what to do anymore I was 21 when my fiance asked me to marry him he was the absolute light of my life we had known each other since preschool our families are very close he would come and have dinner with us on a daily basis and vice versa he doesn't have any siblings but I have two older sisters which is very important as he was also very close with them we grew up together when we started dating I don't think our parents stopped celebrating for weeks he helped me deal with a lot of my anxiety and even when I gained a little weight and my mother berated me saying he was going to leave me he told her off and said he loved me for who I was not for what I looked like even though he claimed I was the most beautiful girl in the world to him we were only engaged for six months before the incident my middle oldest sister let's call her Nikki was a very cold person she never showed any affection she only ever opened up to my fiancé as she said she saw him as a brother and he also helped her through a lot of her dark times such as battling drug addictions and breaking the law she and I never saw. Eye to eye I loved her dearly because she was my sister but didn't like her as a person out of the blue she tells me she wants to take me clubbing as we had never been together before and she felt bad that she was so distant to me I. Agreed and that night we went out clubbing wasn't really my style but once I had a few drinks I loosened up a little and began having fun the night was going smoothly until Nikki spotted a guy across the room whom she claimed she wanted to climb like a tree she walked over to him and within a few minutes she was back and she had a sour expression on her face I asked her what was up but she never said anything I kept pressing because I didn't want our night to be ruined she then told me the guy. Didn't want her number but he wanted mine instead I told her he was a loser and there were, were plenty of guys around who would kill to be with a girl like her she didn't budge though she told me she needed to use the restroom and then we would leave I waited for other. An hour during this time I was sipping on a lot of different cocktails I then started feeling really dizzy and lightheaded I figured I'd just cab at home as I was certain Nikki had left on the way out though I bumped into A. Friend of Nikki's whom she had briefly dated he asked me if I needed a hand to my car and I explained I was getting a cab he said he was getting ready to leave and we could share one I told him okay. And we walked out of the club together and into the first cab we saw I tried to find my phone in my purse but I felt myself getting dizzier and dizzier I don't remember what happened next as I blacked out and the next morning I woke up on a hard sofa my head. Pounding when I came to I realized I was in Nikki's friend's house and my phone was sitting on the glass table in front of me but it was flat when he noticed I was awake he offered some tablets and water and explained that I had passed out. In the cab and he didn't remember my parents address so he just picked me up and took me back here where he laid me on the sofa I told him I needed to go home as my fiancé would be worried he called a cab and I left when I arrived at my parents house my mother. Father Nikki, my fiancé and his parents were all standing in the living room I thought they were worried about me but the instant I opened my mouth my fiancé asked how could I do this to him I tried to explain that my phone went flat but he then went on screaming about how could I cheat on him I was baffled why would he think that I tried to explain the night's events but I kept getting cut off Nikki then chimed in and said I was a lying ass and how could I be so heartless to a man who has been there for me through thick and then she went on to say I kept flirting with random guys all night and then when she went to the bathroom she saw me leave with her friend I told her what had happened and she showed me photos on her phone. Whereas we were leaving his hand was on my back ushering me outside yes the photo did look horrible and I was so drunk I didn't even realize his hand was on my back at all my fiancé was so angry he kept shouting and his mom and mine were both crying I. Then asked Nikki to call her friend and he would confirm nothing happened but when she called him he told a completely different story he said I begged him to take me back to his and when he did we slept together multiple times I saw red and started crying and yelling at Nikki because I knew she had organized this whole thing to make me look bad I begged my fiancé to believe me but he just shook his head and left when everyone had cleared out my mother slapped me across the face and told me to get out I left and went to a friend's house where I stayed for a few nights during those nights I called my fiancé crying and pleading with him to believe me that nothing happened but it all fell on deaf ears as he never returned any of my calls or texts my mom texted me and told me she was kicking me out and that she couldn't believe I would do such a thing and a lot of hurtful other slurs I don't think I could repeat here she didn't even give me time to get my things as she threw everything out I was now Homeless none of my family would take me in as they chose my fiancé and mother's side I was homeless and single in less than a day and a half my entire world had been taken away because of Nikki's lies now for weeks I tried. Everything to get my fiancé back and my family the limit for me though was when Christmas time had come and I went over to my mother's house to try and reconcile I was sleeping from couch to couch during this this time when I got to my parents house I knocked on the door but 
No one answered my friend then called me and told me she just saw on Facebook that my family were in another state celebrating Christmas and they had posted pictures online everyone was there my sister's parents grandparents and even my fiance and his family when I myself saw the photos I couldn't stop crying as they all looked so happy I cried for days and days before deciding to block them all I even returned my engagement ring my friend knew someone a couple hours away who was looking for some help in his rest and he even had living arrangements above where he worked so I could get rent at a cheap price and work at the same time I wanted to start over with my life as it hurt me that no one took my side and they all left me to fend for myself I was able to move pretty quickly and was doing well the apartment was tiny and I had to work 10 plus hours almost every day but I was able to save a lot of money and not living in the apartment anymore I was able to rent a much nicer condo but I am still working at the restaurant as assistant manager now it has been roughly two years since I left and have not spoken to any of my family I have no idea what is going with them until I got a knock on my door it was my ex fiance I was shocked to say the least all these feelings came rushing back and all I wanted to do was jump into his arms but then I remembered the pain I had felt and tried to slam the door in his face but he stopped it and asked that I let him explain he said that Nikki had gotten married and she had confessed that she lied about the situation because she had found someone she loved so much and realized what a horrible thing she had done I asked him how he found me and he said my friend told him my entire family had been trying to get in touch with me and want to see me I told him I needed time to see if I even wanted to have them in my life he left and I have been a mess since I don't know what to do I know I will never ever forgive Nikki she could rot for all I cared but it's hard because my other family and fiance didn't know she was lying but I also felt like they abandoned me too quickly without letting me explain my side I don't know if I should forgive them any advice would be much helpful thank you for taking the time to read update wow guys I don't even know where to begin I am honestly so grateful for all the support advice beautiful messages and awards you guys have gifted I wish I could personally thank each and every one of you and I did try my best to Reply to every message you guys are honestly so amazing and I cried reading all the comments my heart has never been so touched with the amount of love and support I got on this post and I am so sorry if it took too long to post an update I was honestly in so much. Shock I didn't know how to cope with it so I never got back to my ex I didn't know what to do but eventually he must have given my phone number to my parents as they texted asking to meet up I never replied and was planning on. Organizing a Zoom meeting but didn't need to as they also showed up at my door well my father did when I answered the door and saw him standing there I ended up throwing up which he insisted on cleaning when he was done we sat down and I just bursted in tears my emotions were all over the place and my father has worn the same cologne for a really long time so when I smelt it it just bought back all these memories he tried to hug me but I pushed him away and asked what he was doing here he went. On to explain he and my mother are getting a divorce he said he begged my mother to get in touch with me the minute I left but she refused and said I was acting like a baby and if I wanted to leave them after doing something so horrible then I could do things on my own from then on I asked Goo him how long did it take them to notice I was gone he said they arrived back home after New Year's Eve and were planning on inviting me over so we could talk that's when they got in touch with my friend. And she told him I left and she didn't know where I was I asked him why didn't he listen to my side of the story and why did they throw me away so easily he just started crying he said he never meant for things to get so out of hand and he wishes more than anything he could take it all back I said when they found out Nikki was taking drugs and it dropped out of HS they didn't throw her away instead we all went on a holiday so she could focus on things besides drugs and during that trip she got hooked on alcohol and each time they defended her over and over he said he had no idea my mother was going to kick me out he thought it was going to be for a few days but then they decided last minute to spend Christmas out of state my mother apparently promised him I would be allowed back home after they got back I said she threw away all my stuff but he said everything was still there and she lied about that I asked him what has happened to Nikki and he said she is dead to him he wants nothing to do with her but my mother has been crying to him asking to forgive Nikki as she is not well and they had already lost one daughter they cannot lose two he blocked my mother and Nikki and has been on my ex's case about finding me my ex caved and when my dad said he blocked my mother and Nikki and told him where I lived I asked that he never show up again unless I give him permission and he agreed he asked what would happen now and I said I really don't know and that he hurt me really bad I then just went into detail about how much he hurt me and what it felt like seeing them so happy without me and hard it is has been we were both crying by the end of it but I was really glad I got it all out it felt like a huge weight had been lifted off my shoulders my dad then said he knew a few places around the area and would help get me a better apartment and he said he would help 
get a better job but I told him I wouldn't be leaving this job as my boss helped me out so much and I wanted to repay him at all costs I said I didn't want him to do anything for me but I said I do want to reconcile but it has to be on my own terms and it is going to take a very very long time to trust him again and I may never trust him again he said he would do anything to make up for what he he did I asked him why Nikki did this and if she said anything about it well she said she thought my Ex deserved better than me and she wanted to see him happy because he was making too many sacrifices in the relationship she loved him like a brother and wanted to break the engagement off so that night she asked her friend to come and escort me out of the club so she could get photos and to take me home so her plan could work she said nothing sexual happened I went to sleep on the sofa and that was it he was up playing video games all night until I woke up which he has proof of apparently my Dad was planning on getting my stuff from my mother's house and bringing it to me but I told told him I didn't want those things anymore I then went to ask about Nikki's husband and he said my mother has been hush hush with the entire situation but he had his number and wrote it down for me after my dad left I decided to call Nikki's husband I was sweating the entire time and felt so sick what if I could hear her in the background well anyhow when he picked up I just spit everything out which I deeply regret because I should have eased into it for him he sounded really confused and I explained the entire situation again I even went into detail about her drug and alcohol problems I was honestly expecting him to curse me out and defend Nikki instead he let out a long sigh and well turns out he had a feeling she wasn't exactly innocent turns out her and his sister have been having problems and she has been spouting non-stop lies about his sister and has caused a huge rift between them his sister didn't even attend their wedding I told him I was sorry but he should make things right with his sister because Nikki was the problem not her we spoke a little more and he hung up I'm not entirely sure what he is going to do with that information I hope he cuts his loses and leaves her because he sounded like a really nice person and even he has lost his own sister because of Nikki so I have decided to reconcile with my dad my mother has always run the show their entire marriage so the fact he is putting his foot down and divorcing her and going NC with Nikki shows he is serious about wanting to make amends I don't think I will ever reconcile with my mother as she thinks Nikki is a victim also in all this and at this point I don't care. To listen to her excuses if she reaches out and we talk I will update the post again for my ex I haven't had the time to meet with him and talk though my dad mentioned he wanted to come with my dad but he told him I would be too overwhelmed. If both were there and seeing them separated will help make clear decisions he also mentioned my ex was arrested for assaulting Nikki's friend who lied about the entire situation he was being charged but the charges were dropped a few days later I will update the post again when I have time to speak to my ex thank you guys for your being so patient and so caring and just amazing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.